Hello everyone, it's me Slav from Dual Core Studio and today I'll show you how to draw 16 by 16 pixels character. Before we begin, I would like to thank everyone for huge support we had. We gained over 100 subscribers in first month and that means a lot to us. So this video was requested by the one and only. Uh, in one of my previous videos where I showed how to draw 8x8 pixel character. Uh, of course in future I will show you how to draw 32x32 32 32 pixel characters and even higher resolutions. But yeah, so in this document I created basically 3 rows and columns and each this square had 16 pixels uh, is 16 pixels wide and tall so I'm gonna draw three characters in first row I'm gonna draw three templates and outlines for character in the second row I'm gonna show you an example how to use that template and in the third row I'm gonna show you an example of a different pose for that character so first one on the list is of course a realistic character so if you want to draw realistically we have only 16 pixels uh, of height, so our head will be 2x2 two two pixels. Draw his neck with 1 pixel, and from the neck go all the way down, straight down. And from this pixel, just draw 1 pixel to the left and to the right. These will be our feet, so half of our bodies is actually our legs and our waist. So 8 pixels, uh, sh our legs should be 8 pixels tall, so 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, and on the 8th pixel we draw our waistline, so since our character will be looking at the right, I'm gonna draw feet just a bit different, okay, so the rest of his body is really easy, for his torso you just fill in this space, and for his arms, arms should be longer just a little bit longer than his waistline so there we go this is our first character actually first template i'm gonna make an animation so i can show you everything okay so you can actually follow everything here as well so now i'm gonna show you an example how to color this uh, I'm gonna do something really generic, really simple. I'm gonna leave the imagination to you guys. Maybe, maybe like green shirt. And like I said, something generic, so maybe brown shoes. So, okay. So we have this basic character. Of course, uh, you can go into shading as well, but uh, I'm gonna leave shading for other video. But what I wanted to show you is the proportions. So if you want to do something else with this character, for example, I uh, use a bit different pose. Maybe something like this. And I'm gonna show you just how one pixel can actually mean quite a lot. So one of the things that beginners have trouble with is basically they are bothered with these pixels in between. So this part particularly. So sometimes beginners feel the urge to fill the fill in these spaces but that's simply wrong that's not how you do pixel art i mean you could do pixel art like that uh, pixel art is still art it's really subjective so you can do whatever you want to feel free to experiment and see what works best for you okay so uh, this is our character so you can see him here so what i meant is these pixels if you fill them in like this 
everything is out of proportions. Even if we try to fill in the rest of the legs, suddenly everything feels so weird. So what you should always do is keep the proportions the same, okay? So always the same. If our legs are one pixel wide, there should be one pixel wide here as well. If the arms are one pixel wide, then the arms should be one pixel wide, okay? Uh, especially if they're going diagonal. So one pixel can mean really a lot. For example, look at this pose. Look at look at his leg. Now, and what now? Again, different and different. Just moving one pixel can mean quite a lot. Also, on these realistic types of characters, uh, you can't actually put too many details. Uh, because, for example, if you want to put an eye on this character, it won't work. I mean, there isn't really a place where you can put the eyes. So, you need to relax uh, and just forget that simple shapes are enough for people to recognize. And you should be really simplistic with uh, these low resolution characters. Okay, so let's go on to the next one. This character I drew from top to bottom. Uh, the next one I'm gonna leave just a little bit of space in between. And for certain reason. So let's make 4x4. Four four. Uh, I'm gonna draw this character really blocky just to prove one point regarding the eyes. So Maybe something like this. Okay, so this will be our template for our next character. So you can do this whatever you like. I mean, you can draw him more blocky, like I said. It's really all up to you. I'll try to imagine these are legs and these are arms and so on but yeah let's do it like this so using this template let me just okay uh, when you draw the eyes so if your head is only two pixels wide you can't really draw the eyes but if your head is four pixels wide you can draw eyes, you can draw both eyes, you can maybe draw just one eye if, if he's looking like in that direction. Okay, so over there. But if you want to draw maybe a smaller head like three pixels, if you draw two eyes, uh, he looks kind of strange. I mean, you can actually um move his neck to the middle and it looks like he looks uh, at you but front you but it's still kind of strange so when you have two pixels don't use eyes when you have three pixels wide your head you can use one eye maybe two but hardly okay but if you have four pixels wide you can use and draw both eyes you can even draw his mouth okay so again something really generic and simple maybe his legs like shorts maybe he has a bit torn apart his shirt okay so now i'll use this character again i'm using blocky characters uh, in these two examples, just to show you the point of the pose and the eyes, uh, you can make them more rounded like this, or even, like I said, you can make them like this, even uh, maybe you can give him a hair or a hat. That's really why I left the, this space empty, so you can draw hats or hoods or whatever you like to. Uh, but I'm gonna do something generic. This uh, guy will be better fit. So, 
Let's just make one silly pose and that's it. There we go. So on to the next example. Okay, this uh, last one will be a bit different. So I'm sorry I didn't show you uh, the smaller screen, this character, okay. So let's move on to the next one. Uh, this character we will draw from the bottom to the top. So first we'll, we're gonna draw his legs and we're gonna use the lines of two so two pixels for each line okay use them like this this is like number three on his back from here again lines of two pixels one two one two one two and this is for his arms same goes on the other side okay from here draw his shoulders from this pixel okay You make uh, like a little edge, then draw his neck, and from here you can draw his head. Again, I'm gonna leave a bit to the top, uh, a bit space to the top if you want to draw, like I say, heads, helmets, whatever you want to. So I'm gonna leave this uh, template as it is because if I fill in the black colors. Uh, you lose actual outlines that you need to understand. So let's go on to the example, okay? So again, skin color. And on these kinds of characters, you can draw eyes in so many ways. You can draw them like this. Uh, you can even make something like this. Even bigger eyes if you want to. But let's leave it like this, uh, so we can draw his mouth. For his, uh, for the rest of his body, let's say something like this, and maybe a lighter color, just a little bit. And let's make a checkerboard pattern. Okay, so missed one. I missed one. I'm sorry. Uh, maybe give him something like a necklace, perhaps. Maybe something really bright. Yeah. Let's leave like this. So this also could be our character. So I didn't go into shading in any of these characters. I can uh, actually explain how shading works in other videos, but I believe this should be simple enough for now. Also, I'm gonna do outlines in future videos because if you take these two characters, for example, they don't have black outlines like so. Uh, like this character has You have many types of outlines, but I'm gonna leave this just as it is and Moving on to the last example uh, Let's make something simple for example Let's make this character jump His eyes would look up since he's jumping And his arms, of course, would follow. Okay, give me just a few seconds to fill this in.
Okay, so this character is jumping and the rest of these have a bit strange poses. So these are only only three examples. Pixel art is still art. You can do whatever you want to. Uh, you can, uh, I, they are literally thousands about thousands, thousands of styles. So experiment, try to find your own. Uh, but in the end, of, at the end of the day, what's the most important is that you have fun. So, if you have anything you would like me to do in next video, please leave it down in the comments. If you like this video, please like it and share it with your friends. Also, don't forget to subscribe. Until next video, see you later.